What is up producers? There are a lot of different core generation tools out there and, and new AI MIDI generation tools. I've played with pretty much all of them. And one of my favorites to date is MIDI Agent. I've played with it quite a bit and it's done a very good job of writing MIDI for pianos, for violins, for really whatever. Today we're gonna hop in and kind of take a look at it, see how to use it and see what it's capable of. Before we hop into the video, quick announcement for you guys. I recently dropped a super fire, complete start to finish music production course. It's designed to give you every single tool you're ever gonna need to produce professional quality music in 30 days. Either if you're totally brand new or if you've been producing for a while but you're just struggling to get your sound to the next level. It's over 17 hours of content distributed over 30 days of learning. We also have a super fire community where you can hop in and ask questions, free monthly sample packs, all kinds of cool stuff. Also, we've recently worked out a deal where if you sign up for the course, we can actually give you guys educational discounts on Ableton Live, FabFilter, Isotope, Sound Toys, Kilohertz, Arturia, and Output. So you can literally save thousands of dollars. And as of right now, the course is on sale, so it costs less than dinner. So definitely worth it, definitely worth checking out. Let's get into the video. So let's start with talking about what is MIDI Agent exactly. MIDI Agent is a MIDI generating plugin that spits out chords, melodies, bass lines, and arpeggios, basically whatever you need. Uh, it's not random, it uses musical rules and internal logic to give you usable, repeatable MIDI. And it's DAW native, so it runs right out of your DAW, which is pretty cool. When you first open it up, it's gonna say something like this. To get started, enter your license key and or API in the settings panel. That's, if you're not sure how to access your API, uh, if it's if you're using ChatGBT, you would go to openai.com and it'll give you an API, which basically allows this to connect to an API key, which will allow this to connect to um, your ChatGBT account. They also have an internal AI agent that's available with a different plan. So that's that's what I have. So it's I have selected MIDI agent. So we have a drop down here. We can use OpenAI. We can use pretty much any of the different language models out there. Then they have different uh, models, so different like versions of these languages and whatnot. To set this up, we'd go to settings. And then as you can see here, I pasted my OpenAI API. And then I also have a license API. So I have this through MIDI agent, which allows me to just use theirs, which they have like a custom prompt for, which is pretty cool. Then we can also add custom instructions. So I'm gonna say, I am a base slash trap producer. I produce music like maybe some of my um, inspirations here, John Casey, uh, Mystic. And we'll give them some context of artists that they would know. These are, they might not know these. Uh, Troy Boy, Skrillex. I'm gonna save those instructions, close out of this. And now basically it works just like a chat. So if you use ChatGBT or anything, uh, we can enter the prompt here. And down here, it gives us all these different options for what key we're in. So let's say that my project's in D minor. We'll put that there. Type, uh, let's do like chords. Let's do a lead. Notes, any length you don't you don't have to put these in but it's you know it's good practice to do so bars uh let's do four bar loop genre uh electronic and then i'm gonna say give me a really trappy not crappy trappy type edm lead we'll just start there for now and then I'm just gonna select send. And when it says generating MIDI down here, we know that it's now creating it. And this is the part where I got lost. I thought like, where is it gonna generate the MIDI? Is it gonna go straight to the MIDI clip? Is it gonna generate it internally? And I will show you as soon as it's done generating here exactly how to grab it. It does take quite a while. This is, it's taken several minutes, which is not ideal, I would say, but you know, let it do its thing. Hopefully it's thinking smarter about stuff. Created a syncopated and rhythmic D minor lead with repetitive motifs and a triplet flow variation inspired by modern EDM and bass music. So that's a pretty uh, honorable response there. And so the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna click, now we have these two that are, are lit up or they're clickable now, save file and drag file. I'm gonna drag this onto any MIDI uh, track. So here's just a serum. Let's maybe pick a better instrument. So not, it's definitely got, it's definitely catchy. It's definitely got a good motif to it. Um, 
I would change some parts in here. But again, that's why we're using MIDI is because we can get like a general idea and then come in here and tweak it how we want it. So next, I'm going to go back to the MIDI agent, and I'm going to say, now let's generate a chord pr progression that would sound good over this. And I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to change it to, um, let's change it to like pad, or let's change it to chords, and then right, let's see what it comes up with. Great, so generated a dark atmospheric four bar chord progression in D minor. Suitable for a trap based music track. So I do not think it referenced our previous melody, but it should work decent at least if it's you know in D minor. So again, we're gonna drag the file here and now I'm gonna go and select a nice pad. Let's use maybe like Native Instruments for this. They got some good pads. <laughs> So not bad, uh, and again, it wasn't communicating with the initial one, so it doesn't like sound perfect, but good thing is that everything is in D minor, it makes sense musically, and it's not dissonant. Thing is, is AI, as far as MIDI generation goes, is just not quite there yet. With that being said, this is one of the better models I've tried for sure, uh, because again, instead of just using ChatGBT, they actually have their own MIDI agent. So they have their own prompting here, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's working pretty good. I'd say like I'll give this like an 8 out of 10 as far as what's available now goes. Definitely worth trying. I know they have a subscription basis and I know they have a uh, outright license or use your own API. And the cool part about stuff like this is, you know, there's a lot of controversy of like AI, especially with MIDI. Like I have a MIDI generation device that I created myself. And people are like, oh, you're using AI to generate, you know, music. Like you're, you're not even making music. Like if you're doing it that way, then you don't understand how these are supposed to be used and you you yourself are being lazy. So like we can generate this chord progression here and give us like an idea. And the, the cool part about this is it's, this is an idea that we would not have thought of on our own. And it's MIDI and MIDI is meant to be transformed and played with a million different ways. So we get this base of like a chord progression here. You could say, okay, you know what? Let's invert this. Maybe we want to return back to this original chord here. Maybe I'm going to grab these and I'm going to add a nice strum to them. And now this is our own like original idea that we kind of built off and tweaked from a MIDI generation. So I just want to clarify that. Like if you're just generating ideas and tossing them on, like go to splice and download loops like you might as well at that point if you're not going to adjust the midi at all so just some stuff to think about again this is a really cool plugin i'll link it down in the description thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time awesome.